What's up guys, Will H, and today we're going to be taking a look at DEX on your PC. So you can use this two ways. You can use it wirelessly, or you can plug in with the USB-C to cable as well. So today I'm going to be demonstrating a wireless DEX on your PC. Now what you need to do is have your laptop uh, completely updated, all updates on there. And then you'll have to go and download the Samsung DeX app. And Samsung recommends that your PC be a certain uh, specs. So this is what it says right here. Your PC should meet the following system requirements to run Samsung DeX. Windows 10, 32 or 64 bits or above. Uh, your CPU should be an Intel Core i3 2.4 gigahertz processor or higher. Intel Core i5 2.5 gigahertz or higher recommended. Should have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX or a higher version. Four gigabytes of RAM, but eight gigabytes of RAM is recommended. So that is a few of the recommendations that Samsung recommends. Now my PC that I'm using here, this is a Core i9 processor. This has the RTX 3050, has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So my PC is ready to go. It's gonna have plenty of power to run Samsung DeX. So uh, once you get that downloaded and everything, like I said, make sure that your PC is up and running. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and go into the DeX here. Now I have a mouse hooked up. I'm gonna show you that you can play some games, stuff like that. So let's go into my drop down here menu. I'm gonna select DeX. It's gonna go through this uh, little connectivity screen here and then it's gonna say start now. So I have it where it'll start up automatically, uh, just like that once it recognizes. And then you're gonna go into your DEX screen right here. So uh, Samsung DEX is getting ready to work, to start. Just wait a few seconds. Now we are into the Samsung DEX interface right here, which is a desktop type environment. Now I can uh, minimalize this and have it as a uh, floating window like this or I can full strain it again. So uh, just like I demonstrated on my prior video, uh, you can go through and look at different things here. So you got your calendar that you can open up. You can look at all your quick toggles here for Wi-Fi, sound, uh, Bluetooth, uh, your data and stuff like that. You're gonna have uh, some messaging here. You can inter interact with your messages right there. Take a screenshot, you can bring up your onboard keyboard, which is over here on the, on the uh, phone. And I'll, by the way, your phone is still fully functional here. You can do anything that you want on your phone still and have it in DEX mode. So over here, you're gonna have the apps that are currently open. You got a search thing here, so you can search for whatever you wanna search for. And then you got your full app draw. So with using it with the PC, instead of having a uh, external keyboard hooked up, this keyboard is fully active right here. So I can use the trackpad if I want to, as you guys see, or I can use the mouse. And this is wireless, so let's see if there's any latency. As you see, I went right over and opened up the uh, Play Store. If I want to look at ESPN, uh, everything is working great here. I have no issues moving this around. It has a little latency, but not bad. If I grab this in the right place, here it is. So very little latency, but it's definitely not to the point where it's unusable. So here's uh, YouTube. You can go in. And of course, you're gonna be using the speakers on uh, your device as well. So let's go into my, go to my, my uh, channel. So here's my channel. If I want to look at one of my videos here, of course, we're going to get the ad and everything. But as you guys see, as I press my mouse, it's just about in instantaneously working. And here it is. I'm using the speakers on my laptop. As you guys see, so it works great. This is wireless decks here. So I'm going to... I don't want to get out of decks. I almost got out of decks there. So, so if you're doing documents or 
whatever you want to do here, you can go into your files. Uh, if you're using Google Docs or whatever you're using to create documents or get work done, you're going to be able to fully use your keyboard and mouse and get things done. And like I said before, you can have uh, different things open. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Play Store. Let's go ahead and open up the weather. So I got two things open here, as you guys see. I can resize these. I can have just as many as I want here. I'm gonna put the weather down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the TV guide. I wanna check out and see what's going on on TV. All of these are resizable. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the browser here. Samsung browser, so I got that open. So as you guys see, it's pretty fluid. I can jump back and forth in between different things here. I go back to the uh, Play Store here. And I want to download something. So it works very well, as you guys see. Now, you can also transfer files from your phone to the PC. So that would be one reason. A person might say, why you want to use Dex? on your PC. Well, this is a good way to transfer a file. So if I got something over here, let's go to my gallery. So if I wanna put this picture here on my PC, I just simply grab it and drop it over here. And here's the photo right here, right on my PC. And I can do just the reverse as well. I can drag and drop files from my PC to uh, my phone the same way. So that's one, uh, reason why you want to do this. Another reason why you would want to use uh, Dex on here, say for instance you got some of your favorite uh, Android apps that you want to use. So let's go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to say something like LumaFusion. So if I wanted to edit a video on the go and I wanted to use my LumaFusion app, which as far as I know you can't get it on the PC yet. I may be wrong, but I can hook up my LumaFusion, uh, hook up my, my phone, and I can use LumaFusion to finish editing my video right here with no lag or latency at all. And this is me doing this, guys. Uh, trying to do it behind the camera. But as you guys see, it's working. So I can use LumaFusion on here or whatever app I want to use. And also, like I said, you can uh, play games as well. Let me get out of this. Uh, with this as well. So all you have to do, display is not touch screen. So I would have to use my controller here. Now this is the 8-bit do, a do controller. I'm going to hook it up and I'll show you some gameplay uh, next on this. All right, guys. So I have my controller hooked up to my phone over here and uh, we're ready to go. Now you can use your keys on your PC to control your gameplay as well. I'm not a gamer, so I'm not too sure about how to use the keys and stuff. So this would be a way that I would play. I would hook up my controller. My display is not a touch screen display, so we'll have to go this route. So let's try a game. Let's go ahead and try Shadow Fighter here. And I'll show you, you know, this would be one way that you could play your, you know, your Android games on a bigger display here. So I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this. Just like this, and you guys get a chance to see just how fast this works wirelessly and how well it works as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the fight button there. It's gonna say select your, your guy here, which I think has already linked me with him. See Will H right there, so preparing to fight, so here we are. Now, I'm not a gamer, so. <laughs> we'll see what I can do against this guy. Right now, he's getting the best of me. I'm blocking some stuff there, though. Well, I was blocking. Woo, he's tearing me up now. That may have been the blow right there. Nope.
Oh, he's getting it, man. In the end, I got him. So as you guys see, you can game like that. Let's try another game right quick. Okay, guys, so let's try another game. Let's go ahead and try Asphalt 9. We'll bring this up. We're going to full screen it. Now, this is wirelessly, so you guys get to see just how fast this will open up, and we can get into the gameplay. So we're going to press A, A again, A again. Press X to play, and here we are. We're getting into the game already. So as you guys know, this sound is coming from the, the PC itself. So here we go. And this is just an example. You know, you may have other favorite games that you like to play on your device. And it's giving you the instructions here as well. So... Yeah, I see no latency. Oh, I missed that ramp. A little bit of stutter there, but not bad. It's playable. So there it is. That's a little bit of gaming with this. And like I said, if you want a little bit better experience, you can all, always just plug this in and get a better, you know, get a better experience with this. But I'm just showing you uh, the wireless, hooking it up wirelessly right here. So uh, this is Samsung DeX, using it on your PC. Euless using it wirelessly between the two. Uh, you can also, like I repeated a couple times, you can plug in and you'll get better uh, connectivity right there. So the next one I'm going to use, this is how you get out of DAX here. Uh, I'm going to show you wireless from your phone to your TV. So that'll be the next video that I do. But Samsung DAX on your PC wirelessly works pretty good, man. Uh, some of these games and stuff like that, you know, you can just do on your PC. But if that's specifically something on your phone that you like to use and you want a bigger canvas, then this would be the way of doing it. So, Will H, I'm out.